What's up guys, this is Ozzy the Meerkat and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Nitro Luke DX channel. Now we're bringing you guys some awesome mods. I had to make that noise just to make it that much more epic. We're bringing back mods onto the channel guys. It's going to be absolutely insane. Expect a lot more content from this channel. It's going to be mental. But we're going to go for the ultimate sword challenge today. It is only on the 1.2 edition of Minecraft. Make sure you have that installed on the computer pocket edition or whatever you guys are playing on. But without further ado, let's get into this mod. And since we're back with this, let's go for some likes. You know what guys, I believe we can get like... 7 77 likes. You know what? We're being ambitious today. 77 likes on this video for the ultimate sword add on. It's going to be insane. Thank you very much. And let's get into this video right this very second. So, if I go over to the chest that the god of mods have supplied us with, you know what, guys? That's what we're going to call this. Every single time we do a mod, we're going to have a chest from the god of mods. I don't know what he looks like. Maybe he looks like me because I'm a god. No, no, I'm not a god. What am I, who am I kidding? I'll never be a god. Joking, I'm a god, guys. Let's just get back to the point of the video. So, I've got a lot of things here from the God of Mods. And as you can see, and as you know, this is the Ultimate Sword add-on. And this add-on replaces some items like the stick and the bow with a whole new set of swords. Okay, so you guys have got a load more content here from Minecraft. And what I do just love about Minecraft and these add-ons is that you've got Minecraft as its own vanilla. It's pretty good. But then you get all these extra things which just make it that much better. It makes it never ending and never lasting. And you guys can just see crazy cool things every day. So, by holding one of the new swords, the player gets new abilities. Okay, so I'm going to get some new abilities very soon. Just hold on to your seatbelts. Okay, it's going to get intense. And uh, for example, I've got the fire sword. Okay, which is this one. Alright, this is the fire sword. Look at it. Look how absolutely fiery, swordery it is. Uh, it makes you immune to fire, but it's also powerful in the sense that it can cause 14 attack damage, which is the same to a diamond sword, okay? You, you know what? You don't need diamond swords anymore. This is better than a diamond sword. Get that diamond sword, throw it out the window, because this sword is where it's at right now, all right? Because let me get some fire. You know, this is flint still. Flint steel, blah, 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 and I'm just chilling, you know, I'm walking around in my town. Suddenly, a big fire breaks out, and I'm like, what do I do? You know what? I could use my diamond sword, but that would make no, no sense. I am going to go into survival, and I will experience this not being, not being d attacked by and burnt by fire. This is actually a revolutionary moment. I'm actually, you know, this is insane. But there we go. So, we have the fire. Blaze rod. Oh, look at this. Uh, you know what? I haven't actually used this crafting stuff in the new update. But nevertheless, it's pretty cool. Now, I'll get uh, a mob out just quickly to show you. Look, look, look. They even have the the the, 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 the bows turn into swords as well. But, <laughs> uh, as you can see, since you are more powerful, the mobs are too. So, let's put that back. Let's just put a different one down. Slime. There we go. So, slime taken out by the sword is actually just insane. Get Get away! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> these guys, these guys aren't messing around. I didn't know slimes were that powerful. Okay, I haven't played Minecraft in two weeks, guys. Uh, it's 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 a little bit insane for me. Minecraft is like a new game. Okay, there we go. Die, die, die. Now, the next one. Let's have a look. So, we are going to go for, you know, how this actually works, guys. You know, all the new weapons replace current existing items. So, you can just look around in the section here when you're on creative and for example the stick has been replaced by coal swords okay so if we go to the stick where's the stick there we go you actually have a coal sword this means you can craft it with coal and a stick guys that's how insane this has become you know how when you're like oh no i don't have any iron i don't have any this but if you've got coal now guys you can actually craft this sword which is i find is actually brilliant so look at this let's have a look uh so I'm going to try and put down a good old spider. Okay, spider versus cold sword. It's time for you to go down. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see how it is. It's, you know what? It's not bad. It's not that bad. You know, it has an attack damage of four, which, you know, is uh, it's, uh, similar to a wooden sword. You know, maybe you know, similar to a wooden sword. Uh, but it makes the player speed boost of 0 0.12. Okay? That's pretty cool. And also changes the player size 
to zero to 1.05. I mean, does that? I mean, I mean, look at that. I didn't even notice that. What? When I used that, I did not. That is weird. That you know, you know, why would that even make any? Di how was that gonna help in in a game? I don't know. But oh, oh, Mister, 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 whatever your bunny name, I will get you with the cold sword. No, it it doesn't give you any advantage. But nevertheless, I find that pretty insane. Pretty insane. Let's go on to the next one. So the bone sword. I find this one quite interesting, okay? The bone sword. Look at this. Now, I'm wondering, does that... No, it doesn't make any... No no size change, which is weird. A, a size change? Like, what, what difference is that going to make? Except for making you a bigger target, which is going to make it harder? No. Easier for people to kill you? You know, like, that's, that's just a little bit weird. Uh, so this actually yours has an attack damage of 4, but also boosts the player speed by 0.12 okay now you know i i think coal is actually better but then again this sword does look cooler let's put a few mobs down and test it out ready come on come on guardians you're on land man this is my zone you can't defeat me on my own land well maybe they actually can they're actually really good okay okay let's let's kind of just go away let's kind of just get out of the place <gasps> yeah they've taken over land i don't get it well, how do gardens live on land? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Okay, ready? These guys are powerful as anything. Okay, now, but let's see. Can we actually take them out with our good old... The Bone Sword takes the victory! <laughs> yeah, all right. You, you guys better have clapped then. You better have. Because I don't want to feel weird by doing it by myself. Okay? I don't want to feel like I'm the only one. You know what? I'll just be unique then. But anyways, back on to the swords. We actually have a pretty interesting one. Which is replaced by the fishing rod, okay? Now this is actually a thunder sword. Now you can guess what this actually does. Like, look at that. Look how much bigger I get. Look, at it's almost like I just make my FOV, field of view, a bit different. But I, it's just me getting bigger, right? It's insane. So the attack damage of this guy is 5, right? It makes the player slightly bigger. And gives player slowness effect. And changes movement value to 0.0595. Okay, use the sword to spawn a lightning bolt. Okay, now, I'm going to give you a bit of trivia, guys. Every time I've done a mod where it involves a lightning bolt, it has crashed my game. Okay, I don't know if it's the same with you guys. don't know if it's different with other people. But, I will show you live right now. This is live on the news. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Aussie and Nitro DX news channel. We are here live at the scene with the thunder sword ready to be taken to great lengths okay so it is the thunder time well oh my goodness the first mod to ever give thunder power to me <laughs> there's no oh so this is the, this actually replaces the fishing rod believe it or not now i'm wondering can we can, can, can we can we get some fish in here all right let's get a fish and let's see can we kill the fish with the lightning bolt itself oh Look at that! Look at that! It would be so cool if you could, like, blast the ocean here, or the river, and actually l loads of fish just pop up and die, you know, get all the fish in the water. That would be an insane thing, and I want to see that Minecraft. Minecraft, bring that in. Alright, so that is pretty cool, and now, on to the last sword that we have in the selection, guys. It's gonna be a sad, sad time. Sad, sad time. We're coming to the end. We're coming to the end, guys. I know, it's sad. We're all gonna cry. But, we have the creeper sword okay now i actually am curious to how this actually works let's, let's look into it so the creeper sword replaces the bow and attack damage of eight okay that's why when we had those skeletons they pretty much you know whooped our butts all right they they were pretty good all right now the player's speed boost is 0.12 now use it similar to a bow to shoot explosives which requires creeper dust which is actually replacing arrows. So we actually need an extra item here. So what I need to do is go live into game mode creative right now. Not fame mode. I don't know what. You know what? It's the it's the new abilities that are making my English go weird. All right. So we go arrow is actually. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Creeper dust. Creeper dust has actually been changed there. And so let's go ahead. I want to go. And, you know what? We can actually use this normally without going to survival. But. Ready? It's a sword that you shoot. That isn't. That is. That sounded like a bazooka. Ready? Once again. Bang! Boom! That's what I'm talking about. Which is actually making an explosion. A little, a little mini explosion. 
a mini explosion. The creeper is now a mobile gun, which you can take around to wherever you want to go and explode the floor around you. You know, this is an insane day for me. I have just been awoken, guys, to the power of creeper sword. Now, give me your guys' thoughts and opinions on what sword you think is the best. You know what? If you're in a battle and you're doing this, that could be quite useful. But then again, this could, you know throw some people off and then again this sword this blaze rod could be pretty powerful and take some people out and it actually <laughs> destroys these uh, cactuses with hitting it's pretty interesting and it also you can actually break things with uh, a sword that's as i've never seen that before but you know what guys it's been pretty insane i love these swords and give us your thoughts and that seems to wrap up what we've got for today. So all those things, do it in the comment section. But this has been Aussie. Make sure all you guys bat flip into the sky. Have a good day. See you later. And goodbye. And like the video and comment and subscribe. Oh, yeah.